In today's video, we're going to break down the differences between two absolutely incredible dog breeds, the German Shepherd and the English Mastiff. Welcome back to the Fenrir German Shepherd Show. If this is the first time here, my name's Will. I'm a canine behaviorist and I'm the founder here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to teaching you everything you could ever want to know about the amazing German Shepherd. So if you love the breed as much as we do here at Fenrir, start by hitting that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell, and you'll never miss a future German Shepherd video. And today we're going to take a look into what really separates the German Shepherd from the heaviest guardian breed in the world, the awesome English Mastiff. Now quite obviously both are powerful guardians and protectors, but in this video we're going to really dive into the differences and similarities between these fascinating breeds. And let us begin with the history of the German Shepherd, whose ancestors have been working together closely with their sheep herding owners for thousands of years. In the late 19th century, the father of the German Shepherd, Max von Stefnitz, set out to create the ultimate sheep herding dog. He focused on strong, sturdy and yet agile dogs of wolf-like appearance who could trot for hours, directing and protecting their flock. But soon it became apparent that this new breed could do much more than just herd sheep, and today Germany's most popular dog is used in many disciplines – personal protection, canine sports, police service, and of course still sheep herding. Now the English Mastiff, as you might guess, was developed in, well, yeah, here in England, and is also known as the Old English Mastiff – a well-deserved name considering the breed is estimated to be 2,000 years old. In ancient Roman literature, the prowess and bravery of the English Mastiff was praised to be superior to even the famed Roman war dogs. Aside from their role as war dogs, the English Mastiffs were used over the centuries to guard livestock and property against intrusions from humans, bears and other predators. Today this intrepid giant has gained worldwide popularity as a gentle companion and loving family dog. So then it might seem quite obvious, but let's really break down the differences in their looks. A German Shepherd come in a wide variety of different shades and colours – purely black, black and tan, black and silver, red and black, as well as grey and sable. Breed standards differentiate between short stock coat and long stock coat. German Shepherds are slightly longer than they are tall, with the line of their back slightly sloping down from shoulder to hip. In size, their ideal is around 63 centimetres for males, which is around 58 for females – that's 25 and 23 inches. Deviations of around an inch, either above or below the ideal height, are permissible according to their breed standards. Now compare the German Shepherd, and almost any other dog breed really, in existence today, the English Mastiff are absolutely massive dogs, with males weighing measuring 70 to 91 centimetres, that's 28 to 36 inches, and females being slightly smaller. Their weight can range from 73 all the way up to 100 kilos, which is between 160 and 220 pounds, again with females being a bit smaller. The English Mastiff's breed standard only allows the colours Brindle, Apricot, Fawn and their short and tight coat. These formidable giants come with the blocky head, deep facial wrinkles and pronounced jowls typical for all Mastiff breeds. Hey guys, if you're not already, you should be following our Fenrir Rescue Diaries over on Fenrir Canine Training Channel. That is following my journey of working at a rescue centre, helping dogs that have been abandoned, abused, given up or found as strays and helping implement behaviour modification programmes programs to allow them to become perfect canine companions that can be rehomed to their forever homes. So if you're interested in following my journey of how I do that, there'll be a link to that channel down in the description box below. I think you'll really enjoy the journey, but I'll let you get back to the video you were just watching. Now when we're looking at intelligence and trainability, the German Shepherd is known for its incredible intelligence, trainability and versatility, which makes it an ideal sports dog, personal protection dog and service dog. German Shepherds are an absolute dream to work with. Apart from perhaps the Belgian Malinois, there is not a breed on the planet easier to train and more eager to please their handler. As they are extremely quick learners and dependable workers, German Shepherds can be a good choice for slightly less experienced handlers, yet they still shouldn't be suitable for novice owners. And pretty much on the other end of the trainability scale, we have the English Mastiff. Although intelligent, this breed comes with a strong tendency to think and act independently. This trait is typical for most Mastiff type dogs, and it does make training them quite challenging. Therefore, it is advisable to educate these slightly stubborn dogs from puppyhood onwards with regards to obedience and manners. Their enormous size makes this especially important. 
And this brings us to the main differences in their temperament. Being very active, keen and energetic, German Shepherds are less suited for an indoor lifestyle simply because of their extremely high working drive. This breed is immensely alert at all times. They are not the best choice for families with small children. German Shepherds can easily injure small kids by accident simply due to their boisterous nature and abrupt movements. English Mastiffs, on the other hand, excel as family guardians. They are extremely calm, peaceful and gentle giants who enjoy nothing more than cuddling on the couch of their owners. Well known for their extraordinary love for children of all ages, English Mastiffs are the ultimate couch potatoes of the canine world. When it comes to their natural guarding abilities, neither breed requires training to defend their own. Despite their enormous bulk, English Mastiffs will absolutely jump into full defence mode should it ever become necessary. However, being one of the top police and military service dogs in the world, German Shepherds are the more proactive guardians of the two. They are very much quick to react and much quicker so than the English Mastiff and, if necessary, strike in a potentially threatening situation. So then, I hope you enjoyed that quick breakdown of these two absolutely wonderful guardian breeds. From personal protection and high-end military work all the way through to gentle family companions and guardians, these two breeds are two of my favourite on the planet. If you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up and remember, subscribe and turn on that notification bell so that you never miss a future German Shepherd video.